Hello friends, it's Carol and I am here in my nursery on Monday and I am celebrating whatever Monday um, and it is hosted by D at the baby patch. So today I would like to do a blanket reveal. I have a blanket and I have someone under it to reveal to you. So um, a couple of you may have heard me at some point say I have one more baby in my nursery that I need to introduce. And this, I think, is going to be the last baby uh, for quite a while. I really need to put on the brakes. Um, this is number 30 of my collection. Um, and my collection now includes reborns and manufactured dolls um, from Paradise Gallery, Ashton Drake, and this little one. So, um, I'll just get to it. I'll tell you, when I first started in the hobby, I watched some videos, uh, the very first video that I ever really saw of Reborn was by Claire Taylor. And I was like, I want one of those dolls. But um, that definitely is still on my a list way out there. But in all actuality, I will probably never have a Claire Taylor doll. So, hence, I have vinyl Reborns. And I really, really love them. But I see so many silicones on other people's channels that I've just been curious. So I made a purchase on eBay and I got this little one. I'm just gonna, I guess I'll just take the thing, take the blanket right off. This is a Volens silicone doll that I purchased um, pre-loved on eBay. And she's absolutely gorgeous. She definitely is manufactured, so she doesn't have all the details. I'll see if I can get her in there a little better. She doesn't have all the details of, I'm sorry, of a uh, true reborn, but, she is silicone. She gives me the feel of silicone and the movement of silicone. She has quite a bit of detail in her, um, like in her fingers and stuff. Um, because she is manufactured, she does have um, seam lines and things like that. But she is gorgeous. And... I, um, I'm really happy. She is a baldy, and you definitely can see her um, pore line, um, which is something I knew was going to be there. So that did not surprise me. She looks adorable with a hat on, and she looks adorable with the hat off. Now, she doesn't have any um, lashes yet, um, but... That's not to say that she might not get some lashes soon from her new mommy. You want to wave to everybody? She says hi. She is 23, either 22 or 23 inches long. And she weighs about 12 pounds. So I think I should lower this a little bit so you can see more of her. Um... Yeah, I'll hold her up so you can see her little legs. See there? She's got beautiful little legs. She is a beautiful baby. She's very heavy, um, like a, a real baby. Um, I'm right now trying to decide if I really do like the feel of silicone or not. I mean, I love the flexibility. I love the movement. She's beautiful. Um, 
but definitely she's much heavier than a reborn. Uh, so I'm getting used to her. She's been in my nursery now a little bit, um, but I was out of town for a while. So I haven't really um, handled her much. Today she got her first bath and change. And um, her name is Alisa. So um, that gives tribute to um, two people. Um, one, the person I got her from, part of that is her name. And the other person is uh, the principal at my school um, that I retired from. So her name is Elisa and she's just so, so cute. So, um, yeah, now I have a silicone, um, in my collection. Of course, she's not a, an artist doll. She is manufactured. She is, um, uh, pre-loved and she is from eBay. Um, but there she is, baby Elisa. And, um, yeah, she's so, so cute. Yeah. And she has a mouth that's um, got a little bit of an opening to it, but not very much. So I may, oh, you got a little something on your chin there. Um, I may try uh, opening her mouth a little bit. I would love it if she could take a real pacifier. A, well, I should say a full or at least a partial. Right now, you can't get a pacifier in her mouth at all. Um, I have tried to cut one and it doesn't really work. So um, she needs a little more space in there and I may be able to do that. Um, are you looking at everybody? She really does have a beautiful little face. And um, yeah. So this is Elisa and she is now a part of my nursery. So that's my new baby. Friends, remember that God loves you more than anything. I've been reading uh, in my Bible some of the promises that God has given us. And he promises in his word to never leave us or forsake us. And that means he is with us all the time. And no matter what you're going through, he is there with you. And he is not going to leave you in that spot, even if you can't feel him there. He is there with you. So take heart, my friends. We are not alone. And um, yeah. until the next video, may God bless you and bye-bye.